Welcome back to Pan Nader Plays Exanima and tries to remember how to play the game because the weekend he was sick, he was sniffly, he had problems with breathing. Well, not really problems with breathing, but I did have, you know, I was feeling a little sniffly. You know what? Let's bring Normal Rick in. I think I'm a little more confident in how we handle our swords. Let's focus on... Oh, wait, this is not what I expected. I thought we were going to go for dual wielding, but a warm-up is fine too. Let's go for the head. Step back. Then bash the head. I feel like that's so cheap, but it is like what I do in fights. It's just why step forward into trouble when I have bigger range? Just, just take a swing at them like that. Like just back away so it's safe, and then move forward when it is. I could start trying to circle, but I feel like that's a recipe for a disaster. I will try to crouch. I hit the floor. Okay, let's not do that. Let's try crouching while head striking. Seems to do the same thing though. I can't really tell if it does more damage or not. I mean, let's see if they we can make them consist consistently scream. Step back. Oh, I clicked on the wrong thing. I thought I was going for the the other tournament, the the novice tournament. Huh. Seems to knock them down a bit more. Oh, nice parry. Uh let's wait for her to take a swing. There we go. Let's let's try it on somebody else, see if it works as well. And crouch. Okay, maybe we should hit. Step back and crash. No, step back and crash. Ooh, almost ate that cleaver, which is not how it's supposed to be. It's supposed to help you create things to go into your mouth, not the other way around. This might take some time. Nope, you're blocking. Cleavers are fast. Maybe I should get into cleavers. That is that is a belt, right? That is not her penis. Uh, yep, that's a belt. That's a belt. There's not a penis hangout over there. Well, it's consistently knocking them down, but it might be a level thing. Uh, let's try this again. Ow. You know what? No, you, you made me bleed my own blood. I'm gonna make you bleed all your blood. Well, that certainly knocked her down, but I think further testing is required. Did we gain level? Probably not. No, Rick. Uh, sure, let's try it on you. But it probably won't have the weight to do it because she, he's packing a solo sword, a single sword, whatever. There we go. I thought it hung for a second. And crush. Nope. All right. At least this one doesn't have a shield, so we can test it uh, pretty consistently without having to worry about how the shield is worrying us. Hey, you. The. You know what? That's what you get. A light poke. One day I'm gonna hit this, but it might be the encumbrance that's messing with our accuracy. Nope. Okay. So that didn't work the way I think it did. But he, she is taller than us, which probably reduces the efficiency of. Uh, whatever we're trying to do, the crouching overhead. Maybe a crouching stab will do? Crouch. Well, it, it wigged out our arm physics. Excuse me. That is certainly something it can do, but we're going to try that a bit more since he is a kind of a high health and can probably take a beating. Uh, Mike Tyson's our only adept. Luggy's also our adept, but he has a shield now. Uh, let's try with Luggy. He's pretty tall. He's pretty long. He's Luggy. Hey, look at that lack of a shield. That's amazing. Block. That was weird. The tip of our blade made contact with the base of the mace. Base of the mace. I saw the sign. And I tried to crouch and kill that guy. I don't know. I'm feeling weird. Nope. The crouch was too late. I'm also going to try crouching stabs to see if they change anything. They might change something against certain shields, but probably not against this. And crouching head strike? No. Okay. So it's not working the way I think it is. I also don't have the armor to, take keep, to keep getting these hits though. So we should finish that early. Exit, thank goodness that wasn't actually a elimination match or we would have been in trouble. I apologize. I don't know if I can keep recording like this. And by like this, I mean sniffly, not necessarily Exanima. Because there's a lot for me to figure out at Exanima. Let's try to crouching stab with our sword. Oh no, this is a fray. This is not what I clicked on. Excuse me? Sir, sir. Okay, you know what? You mean that one? I did not follow the rule, which was to let somebody else go first. And we suffered for it because I thought we were going for a single duel thing. Like this challenger, there you go. That's that's what we wanted to do. Mike, show me what you've got. We try to. Yeah, there we go. Just keep your shield side to them and we should be fine. I'll stab you too. I also have a stabbing move. Wow, this is not going too well. And I, I don't think it's because I'm sick. I think I'm just playing poorly. Uh, Back to normal Rick, I guess. Oh god, I apologize. Let's go make some more money. I mean, we can get the armor, but I think we're too slow for my taste. Hey, I see you in the novice arena all the time. I don't care about you. Oh, I do care about that. The halberds, the, the last guy in the, uh, in the arena, he does bother me. 
but not for the reasons you'd think. It's because I can't quite get the range of that halberd thing. I just don't know why I can't. Hello. Huh, that should have hit. Ah, that one did. Step back and give him a stab. Uh, just, just you know, showing him who's boss. I kind of want to remove the armor, but it's a little risky. But I don't think anything can one-shot us at this tier, at least. Ooh, ooh, ooh. hey, hey, little brother, I'm gonna stab you. I call you little. Bro oh my, jeez, I'm a little concerned. That cap makes you look bald. Uh, try me. We should focus on our momentum since we're a little heavy. Ooh, you're just batting away my defenses while I stab at your genealogical future. Genetic future, Pat. Come on, get it together. Just stab things. That was a risky counter. Could have resulted in him going after us, uh, hitting us with the halberd before we finished him. But I believe that we were in range, so even if he did hit us, he's going to hit us with the wooden part of the weapon rather than the actual hyperlethal part, which is the gigantic axe on the stick. I guess all axes are on a stick, but this one's on a long stick. Hey, uncool. Oh my god, come on. Okay, we don't even have to move, I think. We can just block and then... Okay, he can't move. Let's see, let's try focusing on their footwork. Moving forward. And we got him. That, you know, that's, a, that's, an, that's an outlier. That's only one thing, so deep, deep run, so we could have backed off safely. If he's not moving forward, and why wouldn't they move forward? Hey, I want those pants. I think we have the same top. That is so embarrassing. Especially since I have to pause and scratch my nose. Oh, my God. I apologize sincerely. Because I am having trouble with this cold. And I'm pretty sure it's my nose hair that's starting to, you know, tickle my right nostril. Because I don't... I don't do, you, do you have to clean that? I feel like if nature gave you nose hair, it's supposed to... Like, it has a purpose, but then again, you know, so the appendix used to have a purpose long ago as well. That headshot's still too strong, though. We don't never really want to take slashes at this guy. Just, you know, overheads and stabs, I think, will do nicely. There you go, see? I think that's going to be our approach to, to shields for the most part. Overheads and stabs. The slashes are just too ineffective. Yeah, let's go elimination. I still don't have enough money to hire people to take on the beast, which is really one of my overall goals in life. Take on the beast. I stab your hand. <laughs> you don't ever mind. <laughs> Sweet Jiminy fuck, I apologize. Oh my god, why did I consider recording? Alright, oh, because I miss playing exam now. That's... Excuse me a sec. Something. I'm allergic to something. Hold on. Yeah, okay. See, we have a problem here, and it's my allergy. I think I'm just allergic to nature. Hold on. I'm gonna have to. Hold on, if, if I sneeze one more time, I'm gonna try to sew this together using YouTube's video thing. Nah, that's gonna take too much time. Just step back and kill these dudes while sneezing. This can be... <coughs> Your chance to, to show them how gross you are, Pat. To show them that sneezing will not stop you from killing. You can be the sneezy killer. Sneezy breezy. Keep it laser. We're still winning, sort of. I mean, that is a warhammer, though. And, you know, that requires a very specific part of contact for it to be effective. Stabbies? Why did I record? <coughs> Not because I wanted to. Ah, uh, this is crazy. Could be like, a new form of torture. It doesn't really hurt. It doesn't kind of torture because you're not hurting them. You're just making them real uncomfortable. Just give somebody their allergies and, like, leave them to rot. Make them try to do something that's important to them. Just leave them. Headshot. Ooh, nice weird block. Gotcha. I love that they say hey after you chop him in the arm. That's a, a very muted response to getting chopped in the arm and drawing blood. Also, I draw blood at the hip. Or your water just broke. Also, I flipped your weapon. I I really want to lower V to, to not have this much encumbrance. The lack of speed is actually affecting me. People say, like, you know, if you're really good, you can, you know, you can fight the arena naked. But I might consider it if it wasn't so dangerous in a permanent level. I would do it more because I, I think speed kills. 
Speed kills when you're drinking and driving, and speed kills when you are fighting an Exanima. The faster you are, the more you can dart in and out. In relative ease, like the graceful young man on uh oh Game tricked me, turned me around. Dang. Oh no. I think we'll be fine. Just back off and stab. Counter stab. Wait for the swing. There we go. That'll do it. Exit. Thank you. Last thing. I apologize. That was a very sneezy round. I'm trying to work for it. People who were watching the channel during the Enter the Gungeon phase will be very familiar with my colds. I just have a lot of them. Okay. I don't want to go novice because we don't have our sword there, so I'm going to go for Challenger. Skirmishes eventually, but not for soon. Hey, buddy. See, that's why you don't faint too much. Are you dead? Thank you. Wow. Easy money. Money. The easy way. Alright. Which is annoying because I also have, uh, I have errands to do outside. And that's going to be a hassle to do with my sniffliness. So we do have a hammer here. And much slower bad guys. And by bad guys, I mean enemies. Just because they're fighting you doesn't mean they're bad, Pat. It just means they're going to take a taste of the bitch food. Which they just did right there. Let's give you another taste. A little slow for my taste. I'd rather have that weapon, maybe. We'll see. And... Ooh, nice parry. Actually, looked like a real parry because it was shifting our weapon up. Why don't we step back and... Ooh. This is getting awkward. Stabbies. Gotcha. Gotcha, bitch. Gotcha again, bitch. Baseball swing. And... Finishing blow. I should start making up dumb moves in this game. Just so I have like mini objectives. <clears throat> Not necessarily necessary, but you know, to be fun. Like the baseball swing. Something's wrong with your clothes. You look like you are, you know, destitute, but your clothes had different colors. Maybe they were like given to you? Out of pity? That might be that explained that you'd also, I think, have flesh toned boots. Which is a questionable move. Flesh tone clothing generally confuses people more than informs them about whatever statement you're trying to make. And make no mistake, every piece of clothing you wear is a statement. It's like the individual words in a sentence. So you can, you know, some gibberish can be double in there, but for the most part, you want it to be, you know, you forward coherent sentence. As a statement of who you are, what people will expect from you. Think of it as a visual business card. <coughs> <clears throat> Excuse me. Except when we're hanging out with friends. In which case, he gives a shit. We'll love you anyway. Or at least you should. Challenger, expert tier, party armor, but the 10 the ten silvers, the 10 silver spesos is too... Oh shit. Just got a headshot. We're faster than her. That's the objective. That's the... That's our primary advantage. If we keep just... Uh-oh. Hey, I sidestepped. Isn't that neat? And you think my collection's complete? Let her take a swing. And I'm not sure she has room eyes. I haven't seen her take two swings. And ooh, nice parry. That's that's all we're doing here. We cannot mess around with this one. We tried to combo her. She's just gonna power through it and smack us. Fortunately, we we killed her. No, well, I'm not even sure about killed. I think we just harassed her and she just gave up. Like this bitch is just gonna keep running. What a boring little bitch. You're not wrong, but I'm also the winner, so, you know, I win. K.O. Perfect. Ugh, I don't like this. More movement, please. Yeah, I'm maneuvering under armor. He should be a bit smoother now. We should also have weapons adept here, adept here weapons, uh, swords for him. Or like this, I think. I don't think that's the best one there, but it is a good thrusting weapon, which I like. Well... Comparatively, is this one's not so bad. That just sounds like a two pointer, and this one's a three pointer. Two and a half. What about this one? Two and a half. Uh, this one's probably more expensive. Yeah, sure. Just go for that. <clears throat> and we'll go for this for the left hand. I feel like that's a good call. Actually, don't know if it is a good call or not, but it is right in front of me. And since I need to make a decision, I am instead gonna. Use my executive powers to just do whatever I want. Stabby thing in the right hand, slashy thing in the left hand, because only the right hand can stab. Challenger now is really, I'm just trying to do something while sneezy. And maybe you think I should not have done that. Maybe you think, oh, oh, I like this. 
way more flexible than before. Uh, maybe you think I should have just waited until after I was, you know, done sneezing to do a recording, but I appear to have acclimated to my weakness and will become stronger for it. Can you imagine having a fucking toothache for 20 years, having to concentrate for about being a productive member of society, and then BAM! You don't have to do it anymore. Can you imagine how good that would feel? Never, 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 never. That thing's gonna have heavy armor, so bring Leggy. Leggy can stand this shot. Ooh. Very tactical and very fast. Might not have Remise 1. You have Faint though. You don't have it, do you? Or are you afraid of my headshots? Like this. She has Remise pad. Just interrupt the shots. She's so smooth. She's so goddamn fast. Sonic. She can really move. Sonic. She's got an attitude. Sonic. She's the fastest bitch around. Oh god. Hello. Now that was weird. I held down the button, but it still decided it was gonna turn into a parry. Back to back, cheek to cheek, you'll be the big spoon. Well, we're getting hits in, but you know, she only needs one. Fortunately, the benefits of having that blunt weapon are lost on me, because I don't have metal armor. Ah, it's still there though. I mean, it's still a big weapon. Stabs? No. We, we fucked up her arm. Physics, eat a dick. I wonder if like one day they're going to use their own arm physics against you. And if your arm is trying to go through your body, they'll use that as a justification for more knockback. And you can use stabs with heavier weapons as a knockback tool. That'll be interesting. Yeah, it's easy. Hmm. Seems to be getting smarter. You can't let that happen. Oh, I tried. I tried to go for that stab. Fortunately, she's just using a buckler. Gotcha. Again. No. Again. Again. Down you go. Oh no. This is our killing move. Again. Gotcha, bitch. <sighs> now that I've sneezed my cold away, which is really what you should do, and I'm gonna have to do a lot of wiping down later, uh, I think we should. We were working <coughs> a bit better than before. Hmm, animation adept. This is probably a good time to try the sword thing. This is really my point of con- uh, Ah, it's so dark. My point of comfort. Okay, you know what? I didn't even see that happen. That was too dark. I think I should adjust the brightness settings on my computer. But there's there's too much of a difference between the two. Like if I turned on- If I upped the brightness, bright errors would be unbearably bright. Like, I, like this. Like, I don't know how bright this would be, but I guess I can test that off camera. For now, but we'll just, let's just chat about people like this. One more. Dance. Let's dance. Yeah, yeah. Dance. Ooh, ooh dancey dance. Ooh, ooh, ooh. You cannot beat me. I am the sword dancer, normal Rick. A name that will echo throughout the ages. And by ages, I mean not. Yeah, I mean ages, not ages, not like a shield. You know what? That's not important. Let's try to dance around these people. Dance. Dance. Just keep moving. Single steps. Stabbing. Did I get him? I don't know. Long slash. Long stab. Side stab. Tactic stab. Stab with that falchion again. Is that the falchion? I also think I hit with the wrong side. I don't know if it's double edged. Never held one in my life. My ass, you spanked me. Harder, daddy. Oh no. Stop it, daddy. That's too hard. That's, that's, that's a little too much. Well, we're a little wounded, but I think we should still be fine at the Adept here. No shields for you? Why do you faint? Ooh, ooh I faint too. I stab you, because you can't stop a stab, practically speaking. Try not to die, Pat. Although that will provoke the, the campaign run, so maybe you should die. You know what? I want to. I want to reach master. I want to be the best we've ever seen. We still haven't seen Mike do a thing. So Mike, you wanna do something at an adept level? Novice level will do as well. I think he still has a stick here. No, he has a sword. I stabbed you. Come on, dude. Be cool. You can't hit me from that angle because I have a shield. I think this is not your day, sir. Especially since I stabbed you in the eye. I'm pretty sure that makes it not your day. Let's, let's do a few words, Mike, before my nose decides to, to kill me. Because, oh god, it's such a 
Elimination, novice, sure. Mike, go for it. Not at your best, but it's not at your worst either. Oh, wait, wrong tournament. God damn it. I, 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 keep, I keep looking at it thinking I clicked on it, but then I didn't click on it. There we go. That's the one. All right. Also, it's, it's... Yeah, there it is. It's brighter, at least. This is relatively simple if you never hold down the shift button. Because you can just step back, block. Especially, I think I have the ability to let us attack while we're blocking. Just block. Come on. Try again. I'll just slap you in the same spot. I'm gonna check my skills. I can't. I can't press K when it's not my main character. That's so weird. Oh, don't try to block that. Not intentionally, at least. Let it block. Because headshot. That was lucky. The power of shields compels you. Stabbies. Again. Again. If we just keep stepping into their dead zone, it'll, they'll never really get an attack off. That is not something I'm always brave enough to do. I sometimes I'd rather just back away. Oh, this one, definitely. We just gotta keep moving. It's a spear. The longer range it has, the more room it has to give us the stabs. Although, for a fit of irony, get a stab him once. Hey, rude. I was moving into your range. Bye-bye. Now that's called infighting. Now that's what I call infighting. Step backward, and not the kind of infighting that is political in nature. Step back, and... Man, I love people with slow weapons. Maybe I should stop using big weapons. Because I keep thinking of it, you know, very, they're extremely easy to fight. No! 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 You almost had me. You almost executed me, you goddamn hobo. But Mike is better than any hobo. Bar de Shea should be easy enough to handle. It's like a shitty axe. Half the range, maybe some of the power, but... And the swings are a little awkward. I've never liked the weapon. Then again, I'm a creature of habit. If I see a weapon I'm used to, I'm just never going to stop using it. Right now, that weapon is a double-handed sword. Yeah, one more. One more will do. Ah, this is going to be a very stiffy episode. I apologize for the most part. Stabs? This, this one's simple. We just need to yeah, keep stepping to the right. Letting her shield... Letting our shield do the... Oh, no, Mike. No, Mike. No. See, confidence is a fast and insidious cl uh, killer in Exanima. Don't do what I did there. <laughs> that was weird. I didn't think that she would go through that. Hey, buddy. Could die here. Could always die anywhere. And head... No. Stab. Ooh, that was actually a little close. We didn't actually block that. Assume nothing. Oh, except this. Plonk. I want another elimination thing. Give me something for leggy. Oh, that's just lovely. This is not the, the... We don't get our sword here, but at least we get our hammer. Down you go. Hammer is not a good weapon. Personally, at least not for the way I play the game. It can be strong. It can give you like one-shot kills. Like... <sighs> if that had hit. But for the most part, it's really not. It's too slow. It's it's extremely vulnerable. At least if you're a little more patient, maybe it'll work out for you. It does have knockdowns. And that. Oh, no. He got up, but I parried his weapon. Okay, what about you? You got an axe? I might steal that from you, son. Give me that axe. Give me that axe. Give me that... Oh, shit, he took two shots to the back. I'm pretty sure the last one you were just get, getting up to quit, but here we are. Now, the, the axe is like a half-assed sword, half-assed hammer. But, it has cutting power. It has momentum. And it's generally faster than the, the hammer, which is, I'm comfortable with that. Also comfortable with its head strikes, like so. I mean, if this guy hadn't been such a bloody tool. You know what? No quitters. Get down there. Oh god, you didn't go down. Oh? Oh, it was a faint. I don't know how to do that swinging faint thing. Bye-bye. No. That's... Outrace him. Outkill him. I missed. You know what? Nobody pay attention to that. I'm the winner in the winner rights history. No. No. I refuse. I refuse to quit. You can do this. Well, you know, at least we're not dead. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. I'm not going to be proud of this one. 
uh, this episode. I hope you enjoyed it regardless. If you want to see more, with probably less sneezing, you can subscribe to the Dark Cloud channel so you don't miss a thing. I am Padinator, and I'll see you later.